hello welcome to the channel today we are going to see the elastic search log stash and grafana solution so it's not elk but elg um i have been struggling from past couple of days to put together the solution so uh, my goal here is to touch upon the points which are required for uh, easily putting together the solution so that you don't have to struggle uh, file you know putting together a basic solution with elasticsearch log stash and grafana so uh, without talking a lot let's get into the details uh, first things first so i have downloaded the open source tools uh, elasticsearch grafana and logstash zip files uh, i have unzipped them here as well um, so what we are going to see is uh, how logstash is configured to uh, fetch the log uh, from the source parse it or based on the filter setup and then push it to Elasticsearch, which is the, which acts as a database. And then from there, how you visualize using graphs in Grafana. So uh, let's get into Logstash and then go inside the config file, look for the Logstash uh, conf file inside the Logstash config folder. Um, open it using notepad so I have just made a basic setup so if you look at this file it has three sections input filter and output section uh, input is basically where is your uh, log file located here I have set it up to fetch the details from uh, one of the locations in my local machine um so this line says about that and then the second section is filter section where you have to do a little bit of coding uh, here i have just uh, configured it to fetch from the file which has pipe separated values and you know fetch the column names and then the um, values accordingly and then uh, kind of parse it and the third section is the output section which says Elasticsearch uh, and host is localhost uh, on 9200 port because I'm going to start Elasticsearch on that port very soon so once you have these entries uh, and you have made the uh, code into filter section uh, using any of the filter types like uh, CSV or croc or whatever uh, you need for passing your log files um, save this and then um, let's open the command prompt and uh, okay now D drive CD go inside the bin folder say log stash dot bad minus F and dot slash config then log stash dot conf so while the log stash is starting let's get inside the elastic search folder and see what changes we need to do inside the same um, so go inside the config folder inside elastic search look for the elastic search dot yaml file and make sure you have a entry for the port on which you want to run elasticsearch 
rest of uh, rest all other things are commented out i have just uncommented this because i uh, want to run it on 9200 you can change the port as per your requirement and just make sure that in the security section you have disabled the this lines uh, marked it as false so that you know you can communicate using http uh, with the elastic search uh, you know you don't have to use https and the required setups for communicating with elastic search so once this is done let's go back to okay and we do not have elastic search running yet so that's the reason you see that the log test is failing to post the details now let's start the elastic search engine and i go inside the bin folder of elastic search maybe i will start it as admin drive go inside this and say elastic search dot but right and while elastic search starts up let's go inside the grafana folder and here you do not have to change anything just go inside the bin and start grafana server.exe okay now i think all three of our services are up and running so we check that in the browser right so over here and say look lose nine two zero zero elastic search is up and running local host three triple zero grafana is also up and running now the setup that you have to do in grafana is to make sure the data source is configured to Elasticsearch and uh, okay so let's add a new and we select uh, sorry we select Elasticsearch here right and then here uh, we say the source is local host 9200 you don't have to change anything else here just say save and test okay now the data source is added go here and you can try adding a new dashboard new dashboard and your panel here you can choose the query inspector check the data which is fetched you can already see it has fetched some data just now and uh, the same is here i have not passed it to uh, you know give us any uh, time series data but this is how uh, all three are connected and if you look at it uh, you know the content of my uh, file is passed like this using logstash logstash pushes it to 
um, Elasticsearch which is running here and then we have uh, the Grafana running and we could see that the data is uh, already you know received here so um, that's how you put together the solution so you can make it more complex by um, you know coding or putting it into uh, into containers etc uh, but this is just uh, to let you know about the uh, basic configuration of Elasticsearch, Logstash and Grafana. Thank you for watching.